Hey everybody, and I'm back with another quick review here. Uh, today we have the Laco Aachen. This is the A dial. And uh, just knock out some specifications real quick here. It's uh, 42 millimeters case diameter. It's uh, 12 millimeters thick, so it is kind of a thick watch. Um, band width or uh, lug width is 20 millimeters. And it has this really nice leather strap, uh, comes stock with the watch. I really like it, it's very comfortable on the wrist. And I like that it's kind of a long length, so even with a seven inch wrist, I have a little extra, which is really true to the nature of the pilot's watches. I'm sure if you guys have ever done any kind of research on them or watched any of the other YouTube videos out there, you'll know that these were Made to be kind of big, oversized. The originals were like 55 millimeters, so it's kind of like having a uh, dinner plate on your wrist. And I'm losing the focus there. I know I have the worst setup ever. Maybe I just need to get a new phone. I think maybe it's focusing on the other watch in the background, but um, you know, one thing this does have is really, really good loom. So we'll definitely try to get you a loom shot today. And um, let's see here. A couple other things about this, I mean, just on a kind of a personal note, you know, I started off with about 15 watches, saw this watch on eBay or wherever, and I don't know, I just really like the look of it, and it kind of is what got me started selling off all my other watches so I could afford this one at the time. In the back, you have the Myota Movement, which is the Japanese automatic. Oh yeah, and this does have uh, 50 meters of water resistance, so that's pretty good. Let's see, you kind of see the rotor there. It spins real freely. It does sort of have that uh, Myota wobble, which you probably heard other reviewers talk about. Um, no hacking, which, you know, for a pilot watch, especially for back in the day during World War II, they would have wanted hacking to be more precise with the time. And man, that focus is horrible. But it does have hand winding. So, wind it up manually, obviously. Wind it with the motion of your wrist. And I just love that dial. You can see that the uh, seconds hand goes all the way out to the indices. All um, Arabic indices. You have the minutes in between. Everything is uh, completely printed on, there's no applied markers or labeling or anything like that. So, I don't know, it's a very nice watch. Um, I go back and forth, it doesn't really get a lot of wrist time like I thought it would. I think that's mainly because of the brown uh, leather. I mostly tend to wear black. So, here you can see the size difference. This is the uh, 40 millimeter San Martin 62 Moss next to the 42 millimeter. And I don't know how much of a difference you can see in the size, but uh, the Laco is uh, definitely a larger watch. So, anyways, uh, let's get you a quick loom shot real quick because it does have really great loom. So we'll get that set up for you. And then we can look at some pricing real quick before I get back to doing the rest of my day here. But um, I'll tell you this, I did get this one for like 280 on eBay, which I believe they retail at like 350, so I didn't think that was too bad. And there's the loom on that. Um, it's gray. It's real bright. It's a C3 Luminova, so lasts all night. Uh, let's see here. We'll also, just for grins, we'll do a little comparison between it and uh, the San Martin, because again, the San Martin has really good loom. So let's get that in there for you as well. Man, that is bright. You can already see that one. So yeah, really impressive loom, last through the night. Um, great little watch to wear with like, I don't know, brown sandals, some khakis, and maybe a polo. Um, here, we'll do some pricing. $227.50 right now on a uh, auction, so I think you know, this one's got about a day left on it. It's got 19 hours. It'll probably creep up towards that 280 mark, so I don't feel like I got hurt too bad. Especially 
we consider if you go to Amazon, oh, there's where I get my specifications. Yeah, don't think I have that memorized, y'all. Uh, three ninety eight, brand new, right out of the box. So, anyways, I do think about selling it sometimes or flipping it just because. Yeah, I just don't wear a lot of brown, so it's kind of hard to get into the mix of the other watches, but uh, I do like it, so I kind of go back and forth on that. Anyways, um, trying to make this one short. I know the quality of my videos aren't that great anyway, so I just kind of wanted to show this to you guys. Um, starting to run out of watches here. I only have six at this point, so we've seen uh, the Squale Atmos 1545. The Save the Ocean Turtle, the San Martin. Yeah, I pretty much just have one more trick up my sleeve. So, anyways, guys, this has been the uh, Laco Osberg Type A Flieger. So, I guess that's probably not the Aachen, like I said at the beginning. I really gotta have my notes in front of me. Look, guys, I just love watches. I love the design. I like to wear them. I'm no expert, but, um, you know, I like to show them. These videos are just basically fun for me. I'll tell you what, you watch other guys like Just One More Watch, uh, Random Rob, Bruce Williams, they do the macro shots, their stuff's never out of focus, they know exactly what they're talking about, so, you know, if nothing else, you know, I do them for me, these videos are fun, they really appreciate, they really make me appreciate all the work that goes into their videos, because I'm sure it's a lot. Anyways guys, uh, that's been the video, I'm out. <laughs>